Hello, it is World Wide Web, Wednesday, May 18th, 2023. Steve Cypress here, and ChatGPT has come out with a major announcement. Check it out yourself for all the details, but two big things are happening. Number one, uh, for subscribers to ChatGPT+, Plus, this is, uh, you're going to get access to use GPT basically like a search engine. So you know that up till now, and I think still now, because it hasn't rolled out, depending on when you're watching this or listening to it or reading it, uh, anytime you asked G Chat GBT any kind of current question for any current information, it gave you the old, oh, sorry, I only have information up until, I think, September 2021 or whatever it would say. So uh, it hasn't happened in a while because I just got used to, uh, forget it, I'm not going to ask it. You know, like, who won the Super Bowl last year? Oh, I don't know. I'm only programmed with information up till September 2021. Like, why? What kind of nonsense is that? Well, the nonsense is over. As of this update, which ChatGPT says, it is rolling out sometime this week. Uh, you're going to be able to ask it current questions, and it's going to search for news articles, and it'll tell you who won the Super Bowl. I guess it'll tell you who won a game yesterday. Like suddenly, uh, ChatGPT uh, is about to overcome one of its uh, major faults. Is this, oh, I'm not programmed for information past like almost two years ago. What kind of nonsense is that? So that's gonna be huge. And if you ask me, that would have Google uh, quaking. Uh, in its boots and staying up at night and realizing that, as I've been saying for years, uh, without knowing why or, or what would happen particularly, but uh, no company's too big to fail and nothing lasts forever. And uh, Google uh, could be in big trouble uh, if people start using ChatGPT. Again, you have to have ChatGPT+, plus, but if they start using that as a search engine and stop using Google because of Google is you know, biased and skewed and tracks you everywhere and does all kinds of stuff people don't like and therefore skews the information you get. I mean, I remember looking for stuff that I, I found years ago, videos and information that now, oh, gee, you can't find it anymore, it won't show it to you, or I have to scroll a million pages to find anything that, that is the truth or that is against the, the false narrative that Google and other big tech companies and big government and big media doesn't like. They don't like the truth. They like to brainwash people. So uh, here comes ChatGPT. Let's see what, what it's all about. And of course, it's constantly learning and constantly evolving. So the future is bright uh, for everyone that doesn't like being subject to a Google monopoly on uh, internet search. Uh, number two improvement, major improvement, ChatGPT announced. I think uh, 70 was the number, 70. And of course, just the start. I'm sure they'll be adding tons more. Uh, Third-party plugins for websites like Zapier, like Instacart, on and on and on. So for business owners, productivity is gonna go way up. You're gonna be able to go to these sites and have chat GPT per perform tasks for you. So now you don't have to sit there and, you know, Zapier trying to integrate one software with another and this and that, and you gotta go through and do everything and, you know, read the support directions and whatever and get help and, or just get it to a tech guy, but you can't do anything quickly. Uh, well now, ChatGPT can be your instant tech guy. What the heck? And you can just say, connect this to that when you go to Zapier with this third-party ChatGPT plugin. That again, I haven't seen. They just announced it, but it sounds like that's what's going to be happening. So if you ask me, that is just a huge, huge announcement for uh, fans and users of ChatGPT who understand that AI is scary and... Uh, and unknown and this and that and whatever, but uh, you know, if you're if you're not using it as a business owner, and you're not embracing it, and you're not finding people that can help you use it in the right way. Uh, if you want me to help you out, of course, as always, go to helpfromsteve.com and I'll help you out. But uh, man, if there's still anyone out there that says, "Oh, this AI stuff, I'm not uh, embracing it. I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to wherever." Get on the bandwagon, folks. Chat GPT two major improvements announced this week, rolling out any day now, and that'll do it for World Wide Web Wednesday, May eighteenth, twenty twenty three. I'll catch you back here again tomorrow on Throwback Thursday. Until then, over and out.